Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 10. And in this video, we are going to talk about some more assignment operators in PHP. Now you guys already know about the most common assignment operator, which was the equal sign, but we are going to cover a few extra assignment operators uh, in this series or in this uh, tutorial, sorry. <laughs> so let's say we had a variable called apples like this and I set that equal to the value of three, okay? Then you know that this equal sign was assigning the value of three to the variable apples. We already know about this, okay? But what happens if later on in my program, I decided, well, hey, it would be really useful if I could keep the value of three in apples, but add six, okay? Well, there are a few ways to do this. So I could go ahead and say apples is equal to apples, because I want to keep that value three and add six to it. So I can say plus six whoops, plus six, okay, and uh, let's go ahead and echo that out on the screen now, so echo apples, okay, so I should get uh, three plus six, which is equal to nine, uh, so I should be storing the value nine over here, and then echoing out the value nine, so let's go see what happens, okay, just as we expected, we've got the value nine printed out on the screen. Okay, so what we did here was we stored three, then we changed the value of apples to three plus nine, or three plus six, which is equal to nine. Okay, but again, this doesn't look very efficient because I've had to type out my variable name again as apples, um, and I mean, we as programmers, we're lazy. We don't like to work harder like this. We like to work smarter. So we could do this a different way. Um, and I could go ahead and use this new assignment operator, which is the plus equals assignment operator. And what this is going to do is keep the value of three, which we assigned to apples earlier and add whatever I put on this right hand side. So let's say I wanted to add 10 to three, okay? Now when I'm printing out apples over here, I should print out the value of 13. So there we go, 13 printed out on the screen, okay? So we know that we can use the plus and equals operator to add whatever this value is, to the previous value of apples, okay? Likewise, we can also use the minus equals operator. So what this will do is assign the value apples to, uh, assign the value of three to apples, sorry, and then subtract whatever's on this side of the equal sign. So subtract 10. So we should print out an answer of negative seven and there we go negative seven printed out on the in the browser okay okay so not only can we uh, subtract and add okay we can also use a multiply equal sign so what this will do is keep the value that was in apples which in this case is three and then multiply it by ten and then store the new value in apples. So three times 10 is 30. So when we print this out now, we should have 30 in the browser. So let's go ahead and click refresh. And there we go. The value of 30 is shown. Okay. So not only do we have a multiply sign, but we also have a divide and equals symbol. Okay. So what this will then do is take three divided by 10 and store, okay, let me, let me explain here. It's gonna take the value of three, which was previously stored in apples, divided by 10, 
and keep that new answer in apples, which um, should be 0.3. So there we go. Uh, and not only can we go ahead and use divide, but we also, as you learned in the previous series, have, uh, or previous tutorial, have this modulus symbol. So when we go modulus equal to, uh, we'll get the remainder of uh, whatever this is equal to. Okay, so 10 actually never goes into 3. It, it can't go into 3 because 10 is bigger than 3. So we should have a remainder of 3. So when we print this out on the screen now, we've got 3 printed out. Likewise, if I change this to 34, okay, 10 can go into 30 three times, but it can't go into 4. So we should have a remainder of 4 printed out on the screen. So if I go ahead and save this now, click refresh, now we have 4 printed out. So that's pretty cool. But now you're sitting there like, hey, are you telling me every time I want to add or subtract just one from apples, I have to go ahead and use the plus equal sign to add one to 34? Well, we could do that, um, but there is actually a different shortcut. So let me just go ahead and refresh this, okay? So we've got 35 here, and 34 plus one is indeed 35. Okay, but let's say I change this to 3, okay? If I wanted to just add 1 to apples, we have a shortcut uh, as programmers, and this is uh, called incrementing a number. So we are going to increment apples uh, by 1 by using a double plus sign, okay? So now when we print apples out, to the screen, we should have 3 plus 1, because this is going to add 1, to get the value of 4. So let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, we do indeed have 4 printed out in the browser. Okay, so this may, may seem fairly straightforward, but if I wanted to subtract 1 from 3, I could go ahead and say apples minus minus, and this is going to decrement apples by one. So we start off assigning the value of three to apples, then we subtract one, and we print apples out in the browser, so we should get the value of two printed out. And as you can see, two. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment, like the video or share the video, it's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.